hello guys uh, welcome back to malik jyot 34 channel this is malik arjun uh, you know uh, as we are talking about the exata bundle patching in my previous session i covered uh, how to deal with the platinum scheduling tool and how to run the exact check report and upload it to sr and uh, this is the third session on the exata bun uh, bundle patching or exata platinum patching that is uh, filling uh, the patching template and upload it to the sr so I already covered uh, detail uh, understanding and scheduling tool and then exact check report how to run and how to read it and now you know I am uh, going over like uh, how the patching template looks like and uh, uh, and then once you fill up your patching template you need to upload it to SR uh, this patching template is a, a ready template where your patch coordinator the the Oracle representative who is like assigned as a patch coordinator to each customer and then he will be providing this patching template in the SR and and then you need to download it it's basically a text document text file and you need to fill all your customer details and then upload it back to the sr this will be done four to five weeks in advance so i'm going to cover in detail about this patching template and before i uh, go over this patching template if you're new to my channel always go back to youtube and search for malik 34 and then please do subscribe and if you missed out my previous videos you always go back to my youtube channel and then please refer them and if you like my videos please share like and comment let's start uh, have a look on this patching template i already opened my the sample patching template so this patching template basically uh, you know uh, contain list of questions and list of uh, 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 parameters where customer has to uh, fill it out i will just go over uh, how it looks like uh, starting with this one line number four uh, system type whether it's a prod dev test qa dr uat whatever the type of exata box you have to mention that one and uh, customer gateway you have to mention what gateway because uh, each customer will be having a gateway for each exata box and you have to mention your csi number and if you know your rack serial number you have to mention that one and if you know your system name obviously uh, your uh, exata system name you will be knowing it you have to mention that uh, dm01 rack01 and you know dd01 whatever the rack name you have to mention and whether your exata is a vm if yes or no you have to mention that one and if is a vm and vm is present and uh, you know how many clusters you have it those uh, cluster uh, number of cluster you need to mention if you don't have it just mention not applicable and is this your solarized compute nodes yes or no you have to mention and if it's a linux what is the target ol version 6 or 7 or you know whatever version you have to mention and what is the react size it's a quarter or one eighth or half or full you have to mention that one or if it's a elastic you have to mention uh, one fourth with the quarter rack and the patching method whether it's a rolling non-rolling or hybrid whatever your wish you have to mention that one and then uh, always QFSDP you know as per the platinum standard uh, they will suggest to go for uh, n minus one and as you know Oracle will release patches and uh, Jan and uh, April and uh, they will release on July and they will release on October so currently uh, today is uh, uh, September and the latest release was July and then you can always go with n minus one you can always refer for you know april uh, uh, qfstp that is what uh, the recommended one so but still you can go with the july release there is no uh, harm in that you can see jan qfstp uh, april july october these are the oracle uh, quarterly release patches you can consider anything you want and you have to mention that one which patch level you want to go and once you mention your patch level you have to mention components to be patched like gi upgrade to 12c or gi upgrade to 19c you have to mention whether you want to go with the gi upgrade whether you are 11g and you want to upgrade to 12c or you are 12c 12.1 and you want to upgrade to 12.2 or if you are 12c and you want to upgrade to 19c whatever that is you have to mention whether you want gi upgrade or not if not you mention not applicable and uh, gi bundle patching yes bundle patching on the gi home and bundle patching on the db home yes and m compute node patching yes and cell compute node patching yes ib switch uh, patching yes and cat bundle need to be run on the database yes and ojvm patch if you have a oracle java component installed on your database it's mandatory to apply ojvm patch and uh, uh, 
uh, apply OJM patch requires one hour downtime. The OJM patch cannot be applied in all online mode. It should be applied only in the non-rolling mode. So it needs one hour downtime to apply that OJM patch on your database homes. And instead of OJM patch, there is a temporary solution called a mitigation patch. You can apply the mitigation patch instead of this OJM patch. And that mitigation patch is a temporary solution, but this mitigation ca patch can be applied in a rolling fashion. And the option three is these are the option one and this is option two and option three is uh, none. It's not recommended. Like you know, uh, even though I have OJM component, I don't want to apply my OJM patch. You can uh, no uh, go with option three and that you have to mention here. What is your option? Option one, option two, or option three? And there's a particular mass document which talks about this OJM patch. You can go through this mass document and you have to mention your option whether you want to go with the OJM patch or mitigation patch or you don't want to apply any patch regarding OJVM and then the third point is platinum do not cover database upgrades so you know if you are going with the uh, uh, major upgrades from uh, you know uh, like 12c to 19c or uh, you know 12c to 18c or uh, you know these are the major database upgrade platinum will not support so you know it has to be done by customer end and the other patching requirement if anything special if you want to mention you can mention it here and the uh, name and uh, number of dbs to be patched this is very very important you have to mention whether the rack or non rack for example if you see here three node rack db that is uh, pre prod and this is my oracle home uh, and then it's a OBI uh, uh, database and again three node rack DB that's a prod DB and this is my prod DB home and this is EBS uh, database and three node uh, rack DB and it's a standby DB and this is my uh, DB home and it's a standby DB for my prod DB prod and standby is running on both uh, on the same rack so it's a just an example I'm giving it here so like that whatever data is running on your uh, uh, exact box you have to mention all those in details and if it's a single instance you need to mention whether it's a single instance and what is the name of the single instance if it's a multi-tenant architecture database to be patched you have to mention if it's a 12c and what are the pdbs everything you have to mention here and uh, as per Oracle uh, Platinum standards, Oracle home to be patched, that is maximum two DB homes per rack. One rack, they can patch only two DB homes and one GI homes. So they will get only uh, three. If you have a three, in, in my case here, I mentioned three Oracle homes. So three Oracle home, we have exceptional approval to patch three Oracle home. You have to talk to your patch coordinator and they get an exceptional approval to patch uh, three Oracle homes. As per, if you see here, Platinum will patch maximum two uh, DB homes. As you see here, I have three DB homes. So we got exceptional approval to patch. And then uh, if uh, EBS database and you have to mention what is your EBS version and if it is a SAP grid home you have to mention SAP grid home and what is the version and you have to give other details if it is a SAP database and if it's a data guard you have to mention data guard details yes it is in my case it's a data guard yes and uh, you know uh, please uh, confirm if the primary standby uh, are on the same rack yes it is on the same rack and please confirm OEL version uh, you know interconnected machine so if it is a uh, standby and primary are on the same rack right, you, you need to mention that uh, OEL version or uh, if it is uh, running on the different different uh, OEL version you have to mention those different different OEL versions and then also this is very very important uh, uh, redundancy type you have to mention like what is the redundancy you have uh, roll, for rolling patching high redundancy is the recommended one so and then if you have normal redundancy or uh, external redundancy you have to mention that one and uh, requested patch date uh, uh, please provide us with a tentative patch date so if you are uh, if you have any tentative patch date you have to mention that one or if you have confirmed patch date that you have to mention here uh, when you recommended your patching date and uh, uh, if it is requested during the weekend uh, you can give all those when you want uh, like tentatively i want monday tuesday thursday like you know and what is your uh, maintenance window how many hours you have maintained you know you have to mention it uh, specifically and uh, you know customer available outage window like how outage window how much you want so i want my rolling patching that to be done in 15 hours and i have a one hour of uh, outage window 
and uh, that you have to mention specifically here and if it's exologic attached so you have to mention about exologic if my exata box is connected to exologic or any other application you have to mention that on gfs storage is attached so that if your gfs storage attached to your exata box you have to mention that one and uh, any special instruction you have to mention that is that a special instruction like you know i have my ebs database i have my obi database so everything i need to mention that one as a special instruction uh, and then uh, uh, primary contact you have to give primary contact and phone number and email detail and secondary contact phone number emails and you know all the details and uh, you know these are the uh, platinum service uh, uh, mass document you can go through for more details and patching exact patching overview and the patch testing guidelines these are the mass document you can go for more details and again this is uh, uh, you know how you can how oracle platinum uh, gateway they can access for the patching delivery so this this document talks about more on that and then uh, you know uh, at the bottom it will say uh, how to run exact check reports i already covered this part in my previous session i can you have to export and then you have to download the latest exact check report and you have to run it and then once the exact check report is uh, uh, ready and you have to upload it to sr like uh, for exa data with vm use the below guidelines like you have to run exa check on dom zeros and dom use and you have to mention everything and if it's a vm you have to run this xm list and it list out all the vm clusters and you have to mention those all the vm clusters and at the end you have to run this uh, uh, you know agent information this is a this is a single command e grep and uh, you know this particular command will uh, list out what are the vms running so i'm running this one here uh, the moment I run this command uh, I will get uh, uh, you know what are my VMs what are my agents are running my uh, DB nodes and I, I will need to mention those uh, 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 you know, uh, agent information and I need to run this particular command it will uh, read the inventory and then it list out uh, what are my Oracle homes and uh, you know it list out what are the owners for that particular Oracle home so you have to mention this one because this will be helpful for Oracle to prepare their patch assessment and patch plan. And then uh, you need to run this particular command. As I said, this is for uh, agent information. So I'm running here agent information. So I'll get uh, this is a agent owner and this is a agent home and again grid and it's a grid home. And this Oracle is again one more agent and this is a Oracle agent home. So uh, this is uh, the uh, you know, basic template I can say. So uh, all the details customer has to fill it and then upload this template to the uh, SR. And then that concludes uh, uh, you know filling a patching template and uploading to the SR. And then I will review patch assessment in my uh, next session guys. Uh, thanks a lot.